surprise factor, the gore, you know, the the lunging, the running, the excitement, the not knowing what's about to happen, the old shit moments, you know. That's the heart is all about that and I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. As a child, you know, that'd be like the best part of trying to be scared or trying to get scared. Which most of the time, just like the action of it and the killing. I think. Maybe it could be the killing. Um a movie from back in the 70s called Behind the Door. Like, that was exciting because that was like my first scary movie I've ever seen, and that was in the early 70s. So, I ain't gonna tell y'all who that. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Um, I guess I come from a family, and we all sort of have a dark sense of humor. And the first, the first horror flick I can recall seeing was Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Hell yeah! Saw so one as a kid. Scared the shit out of me. Worst day of my life. My parents were horrible. It might sound like a joke, but Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> it's a classic. But ain't nothing scared than like walking past some vegetation that might eat you. Like real tough. I got a couple of them. I like I like most of all the Friday the Thirteenth, Jigsaw, Final Destination. They probably about be up there about the same. Halloween, nineteen seventy eight. Got it out. Fuck me up for life. I don't know. There's there's so many good ones out there. But um, probably like the first ones I ever seen that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. It's probably a tie between uh, Friday the 13th Part 2 and the original Nightmare on Elm Street, man. Come on. Abby, another movie from the 70s. I can't tell you what's really going on yet. Mikey killed me. No cap. But what I can say is the spirit of the film is like, you know, a struggle between balance of morality and power. Very interesting. Um, it's a, it's more like a revenge uh, thriller slash uh, slasher, you know, just somebody's out to get revenge for something that, that was wrong to them and it's a bit supernatural on top of that, so yeah, if you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. I ain't gonna tell you here, so check it out. It was like, to me, it was like more revenge. Like it's a Kwame thing. Whatever happened to him, he just got his revenge and it all came back and he did what he had to do to get his revenge. You got cannibalism going on. You know what I'm saying? There's some gangster shit going on. You know, people getting backstabbed. You know, people getting they, they, they throat slit. Getting shot up. You know, some revenge type of shit. You know, it's 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 a lot of stuff going on in this movie. You definitely have to watch it more than once. You know, so you can catch everything, man. It keep it. It definitely. This movie will definitely keep you on your toes. It was like a mystery to me when I was in it, for the part that I was in it. <laughs> but uh, from what I'm seeing, like. To piggyback off the next person, it's, 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 it's like a hero story yeah. with a lot of killing and parts that you would like to see someone um, getting revenge. And sometimes it, it, it don't end how you want it to end, but he ended it the way I wanted it to end sometimes. Everything, except for what everybody else did. I ain't produced nothing, but uh, <laughs> but I played, I played, I played, uh, I, I think, what, what, what could I say? Well, I played a reporter, and I was reporting. So I think I just reported <laughs> something, <laughs> basically, <laughs> and talked, <laughs> and messed up. I think that's it. I actually, come in the end of the movie, I definitely wasn't in the, 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 the beginning of the movie, but... I guess I'll be the one that bring out the new sequel, I guess. <laughs> I played the role of the, the villain, uh, Polio. 
Um, he's pretty much the guy that just wants it his way, and if he can't get his way, you know, he'll murder his way through until he gets to the top. Point blank. Um, like most people in this field, they uh, audition. <laughs> or you know somebody at the top that can just put you in, like, uh, like you know, I'm not saying I know somebody, but I might know somebody. I met Molly at a nightclub. Long, long, long time ago. A little too long. You know, nigga follow me from the stage to the studio, and I just ain't been able to shake him since. Um, well, you know, Max reached out to me. And you know, when he reached out to me, I, I, I told him it was a go on, on point. I'm just gonna be there for my friend. You know, always do what it do. So, you know it's okay there. I found Will Mack on the street. I'm just gonna keep it a hundred. I'm not doing shit with his life, you know what I mean? Talk a whole lot. Tell everybody business. So I figured, you know, let him tell on everybody in a good way. No good motherfucker. I got a phone call from Max and asked me why I'll be, was I interested in even trying to do this? And of course, anybody want to be in a movie. So I stepped on board. Yeah, 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 Boris was the prostitute. Yeah, definitely. On Kensington Ave, believe it or not. Word that he used to rob banks, but he fell into a slump, I guess. Oh, he's the shit. He knows he's the shit, but he just loves to play possum a lot. He got it all figured out, believe me. I loved it. It was a different side of me to, uh, you know, bring something different to what I'm used to doing. So it was a great thing to try to switch it up. I really appreciated that. <laughs> this is funny because, like I said, I come in at the end of the movies, but I did not, I did not understand what was really going on until after I ate the burger. <laughs> 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 that was the great part. Um, he, he's terrible. He's a horrible human being. I can't even call him human. Like, I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, but he's entertaining for sure. Like, entertaining to play, entertaining to watch. And um, I hope you enjoy him. Everybody rose to the challenge. Everybody. Even the pet cat in the background stepped up to the fucking plate. Salute you. I think everybody did a wonderful job, especially the children. The children did awesome in there. They, they, they really like kind of stood out to me because you know it's a lot more for them. So they, they, they basically stood out to me. I think they did an awesome job. Um, everybody played a nice role, but I, I really liked it, the youngest person in the movie. Because I was trying to figure out how did he remember all his scenes. How did he remember his... his the, the youngest person in the movie, I enjoyed some more. Um, everybody else is a target, according to, to Polio. You know, if you ain't him, you're dead. That's, that's what I see, and that's what I know. There was a lot of things in there that I didn't expect. But it was kind of, that's what I kind of dug about them with because it was stuff I didn't expect. So the creative side of it was, was definitely on a thousand. Playing with the audience's expectations. That's fun. It's a lot of fun. And letting the actors, you know, put their own twist, you know, be a part of the decision making and certain things. It's even more exciting that way. Max know what he wants, and I like to work with people that know what they want. And so when you work with him, it's much easier because he know what he wants. So he tell me this is what I want, filling that void. Uh, the process was great. It was very, very fluid. Um, a lot of the, uh, the the vision for it was 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 thought up and drawn out, but then uh, the freedom to to make it come to life was kind of left to to the actors, which is uh, different. And, and I enjoyed it because it allowed me to to dive more into how I feel the character should be and we just kind of built from there. Very easy. He was uh, on point. He just guided you through to what you really needed to do, so it was no pressure. So it was kind of very easy, to be honest with you. Like I said, it was it was easy because Max, like I said in the last question, Max know what he wants. And I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. And when he, and he, and when he does, he, like it's not, 
he has he has it set like in, in different ways so you know like you go from one to another you don't jump from one and then go to four as he takes steps and then it was easy for me the steps that he gave me was breathe I thought the storyline was great and it leads you up to a lot of suspense and wondering in it and I'm looking forward to the next situation that comes it's organized confusion designed to um, overwhelm the senses, you know, bombard you with a lot, but then it pulls you in, and you stuck. The storyline is mad wild. You got so much different shit going on in this movie, man, it's like, whoa, you know, it's, you, you might have to watch it a couple times, because you might miss something. You know what I mean? You definitely gonna miss something the first time. I thought it was dope. I thought it was dope from the beginning, from the vision board to, to it being on screen. I, I, I think that um, we, it came together well. We um, we told the story we wanted to tell and um, I look forward to, to doing it again. At first, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I wasn't satisfied. Cause I was thinking it could have been more more to it. And I didn't, I couldn't really understand the process, his process of making a movie. But after I seen it the second time, I really enjoyed it more, but after I seen it tonight, hey, I'm, all, I'm always on board. It's good, the movie is great. Uh, the scene with Polio in the car, was the first thing we shot actually. Just the way he, his performance in that scene kind of let me know, yeah, it's just gonna work, baby. Uh. All the takes I did, I did a lot of takes. We just was out there just taking and taking and just trying to get into character. So that, it, it was a great part. That was the great, great part about it. The bloopers is like almost the greatest part about it. Oh, um, eating that burger. No, finding out after I ate that burger, what I was eating for real. I, I couldn't forget that. Uh, I would have to say, uh. <laughs> Well, there's a couple, but the one that stands out right now is uh, the the scene in the park where I got my character had got uh, hurt, and um, I'm running, I'm rolling around, I'm I'm doing my own stunts, and uh, yeah, that was the first. So yeah, um, probably the, the park scene with my character for sure. And Jason's death, you know, after Carrie slits his throat. Think about that, Jason. Throat slit by Carrie. <laughs> I'll be on some shit. But yeah, she begins to sing a song and just filming that and and seeing it in the finish. Just you know, that's my favorite. It's something about that one. Right, that's it. Yo, my favorite part in this movie was like towards the end. It's like towards the end. You know what I mean? Like this girl, you know what I'm saying? She 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 wakes up, you know what I'm saying? Cause he had just like gave her some kind of sedative or something and she was passed out. And old girl wakes up, he's washing dishes, right? Old girl, you know, she she she's been out for several hours or whatever, and um she's hungry. And she sees a a sandwich on the table. You know what I'm saying? And she starts eating the sandwich. And old boy is like, I told you not to touch my sandwich. <laughs> you guys see the movie to know what I'm talking about. That was, that was probably one of my, if not my favorite part in the whole movie. Max, you a fool for that one, son. Word. It's a lot of, I can't pinpoint on just one part because I really like the kids parts though. Mostly all the kids parts is like, my favorite parts of it because I like to see them. It was great. And I don't know the other guy name. That was the, the, the uh, delivery man. He was a funny character. I was like, and I, I kind of liked everybody though, so I couldn't really give it just one. Now, it was the <laughs> delivery driver, the big guy. <laughs> he was really funny. He was really funny. I appreciate his whole thing. I never got a chance to meet him, but I anticipated to meet three people here tonight. That was the mother. There was the big guy, and there was the one who killed the guy up under the sub, up under the train. Chicken. Eating chicken. 
I do that scene 10 times a day. That joint was crazy. And so I'm not in the flats at all. This shows my acting range. I hate flats, but I pretended in the film that I love flats. And you'll believe it the way I eat the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I mean, again, I ain't giving nothing away, but it's, you know, the way that this movie ends, it's kinda, it's kinda, it's gonna be kinda hard to bring me back, but if I come back, definitely coming back to do it, absolutely, without question. Of course. I don't know what I'm gonna be this time, but I'll be, I'll be the reporter man again if I can. But yeah, I'll definitely be there. I don't think so. Psych, but of course I'm there. <laughs> Peace, you better know I'll be there.